guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah and it is so nice to meet you but today we're going to be doing a blue makeup look which is not normally a color that I do makeup looks with but I decided to be a little bit creative today my shirt has a little bit of blue in it so it kind of matches I guess so I just got the idea to sit down and film a blue makeup tutorial so without further ado let's jump right on into this video As always, I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. Then I'm going to do my eyebrows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And you guys have seen me do my eyebrows before, so I'm not going to show that. So I'm just going to do them and come right back. So I finished my eyebrows, but I actually ran out of my eyebrow pencil as I was doing it. So that's why my eyebrows look pretty bad, because I ran out of my pencil. But we're going to just focus on the eyes because that's the important part of this video. So I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to jump into the eyeballs. So first we got to prime our eyelids and I actually have been using something new to do this with and it is the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer. I really enjoy this stuff. It does the job and it's cheap. So what more can you need, honestly? So I'm just going to prime them and then rub it out. So I don't totally know what eye look we're going to do, but I'm just going to kind of experiment and hopefully something turns out good. We'll see. I'm first going to use actually my pressed powder just to set down the face, basically. Get my pressed powder, set it down, and then I'm going to use the actual colors from the palette. The first shade I'm going to use is this one, and I'm just going to dust that in my crease. I'm going to use the Morphe M441. My camera totally cut out while I was talking, so this video is turning out awesome. But anyways, I'm using the Morphe M441 brush because I actually don't have a lot of brushes, so I use the same brushes in every look, in case you haven't noticed. But anyways, I just used that first color in the... I don't even think I told you what palette I'm using. It's the Mar palette by ColourPop. So I just used this shade and I just swept that all over my crease. Now I'm going to use this brown shade and kind of deepen it up more in the outer V. And I'm going to use the same brush to do that. Now I'm going to spritz this brush and I'm going to set down this shade all over my lid. We're going in with blue, oh my goodness. Now that we have on some blue, I'm gonna go back in with the first shade and just blend out the edges on the top where the crease is. This is wild, guys. I'm so excited. I really have been wanting to go out of my comfort zone in makeup. So this is perfect. Next, I'm gonna use this dome shader brush and I'm gonna use the blue right there. Hopefully I didn't blind you just now. And I'm just gonna deepen the outer corner with the dark blue. come back to the eyes but now we're gonna do some face makeup so I'm not gonna wear this makeup very long that's why I wanted to use products that I don't particularly like because I'm gonna be taking this off soon but anyways I'm gonna use the Maybelline baby skin primer and just rub that all over into my skin as you can see my skin is breaking out so incredibly bad and I have no idea why like I just am so clueless as to why my skin is doing this so I'm really trying to help it out but it's not working we're going to use the covergirl clean matte liquid foundation in the shade 130 which is classic beige this is actually the very first 
foundation I ever have. Like not this, not this exact bottle, but I mean the exact brand. And now I know so much more about makeup. And no, it's not very good. <laughs> not very full coverage either which I now appreciate way more next we're gonna conceal with the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in the shade c5 and I'm going to immediately set it with the Laura Mercier powder just because I find that helps with creasing and this concealer does crease a lot Now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to conceal every pimple on my face and then I'm going to set it in a second, but I'm going to conceal it first. wipe away all the powder under our eyes and then I'm going to set with the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder in my project pan. Now that the face is all set, we're going to use the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit to contour. So I just use a slanted brush and then I use this slant on the bottom. Just get a little bit and then I just... Now we're going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and we're just going to bronze. I'm going to use my Tarte Amazon <laughs> I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Ravish. This one I find is not as pigmented as the party one, which is sad. I'm going to use my Essence Highlighter in the shade Apricotta. The lid broke off, so <laughs> that's okay. This video is just all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoy it and enjoy me trying to be creative and out of my comfort zone. That's basically the whole point. We're going to finish up the eyes, so I'm going to use that blue shade on my lower lash line. See how that looks? <laughs> So I don't really like how that looks, I'm going to add the brown shade on the lower lash line as well. By the way, the brush that I used for the lower lash line was the Morphe M408 brush. Now we're going to do the inner corner and I'm just going to use this champagne shade with my finger for the inner corner. Now I'm going to curl the lashes and we'll put on some mascara. So we're going to use the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara on the lower lashes and the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Mascara on the top lashes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm running out of this one and it doesn't have enough to do the top lashes, like enough product to do the top lashes. But this one is very chunky compared to what I'm used to. So I just use that on the top because I feel like it'd be too chunky for the bottom. So that's why these two together. Since I'm not really going anywhere, I'm not going to put on the lipstick, but in case you're wondering, the lip that I would pair with this would be definitely in nude. You don't really want to do something crazy on the eyes and crazy on the lips. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't want to, so I'm just going to use my baby lips, the blue one. <laughs> There's no shade or anything for this. This is just a lip moisturizer that I've been using since high school. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu spray and then pat it in with this beauty blender. And lastly, spray with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And that is the final look. I'm sorry that my face makeup isn't the best and that I'm breaking out, but I hope that you can learn some things from my eye look at least. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and leave me a comment saying any other makeup tutorials that you'd like to see from me because I would love to do this for you, and if you stay to the end of this video, comment blue eyes. <laughs> and 
other people won't understand if they didn't say it till the end of this video. So, it's our secret. But anyways, I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys.